Trump's charges bring doubts, hopes, and uncertainty in both parties. Former President Donald Trump was arraigned on 34 felony charges related to hush money paid to porn star Stormy Daniels. However, Mr. Trump's opponents in the Republican presidential nomination appear to be using the same playbook as 2016, laying back and absorbing his attacks while hoping external factors will take him down. To some, the charges appeared flimsy, while others viewed them as a troubling development that could hurt the former president politically. However, conservative evangelical leaders, who might be expected to be critical of the allegations, were supportive, continuing a pattern of overlooking Mr. Trump's personal conduct. Mr. Trump's rivals now see a moment of peak power for him that they hope will dissipate. Mr. Trump is now the first former president to face criminal charges, and he does so amid his third run for the White House. The charges will have to be answered in court, extending a sordid tale of extramarital affairs into a courtroom for a party that once considered itself the home of family values. Mr. Trump might rail against the Manhattan District Attorney who is leading the prosecution and the judge who will preside. However, the court proceedings and possibly a trial will unfold in a potentially damaging manner as a Republican race for the White House runs alongside them. The failure of Mr. Trump's rivals for the Republican nomination to go on the offensive and their willingness to defend him underscored the centrality of the former president in the GOP. Even conservative evangelical leaders supportive of Mr. Trump looked askance at the extramarital dalliances contained in the allegations but continued to support him. Democrats expressed frustration that charges against Mr. Trump might not have been as sweeping as some of the other cases still pending against the former president. Some Democrats echoed Republicans who said the Stormy Daniels episode seemed stale after so many years and trivial compared with more pressing kitchen table issues. Mr. Trump's rivals now see a moment of peak power for him that they hope will dissipate. Trump just got a big old shot in the arm with people who don't like where we are and don't trust the government, said Ketan Dawson, a former chairman of the South Carolina Republican Party who this year helped start the presidential campaign of Nikki Haley, Mr. Trump's former ambassador to the United Nations. They are frightened of the unfairness that seems to be coming from the judiciary right now. The concern is that Trump will get all the oxygen, which allows him to be the nominee. A spate of polling released showed a one-on-one -on -one contest between Mr. Trump and President Biden at a dead heat. A Reuters Ipsos survey found that 54% of Republicans believed the indictment would help Mr. Trump secure the presidency, even as 58% of Republicans said the charges were believable. It is still serious, said former Representative Reed J. Ribble of Wisconsin, a Republican critic of Mr. Trump who has doubts about the case. Who wants to be charged with any crime? Most normal Americans will never be charged with a misdemeanor their entire life. To be charged with 30 of them? I mean, it's shocking, and for somebody who you want to have as a leader in the country, it's a disqualifier for me. Mr. Trump's arraignment on charges that he falsified business records to cover up payments to the porn star certainly made history. But the moment did not yield a rush to abandon him by many voters or party leaders. Some Democrats and Republicans noted that Mr. Trump could face more serious legal troubles to come, but said that for now, the moment gave his message to Republicans a new opening. Despite the felony charges against former President Donald Trump, the political landscape remains uncertain. The charges, related to hush money paid to a porn star, were not met with a rush to abandon him by many voters or party leaders. Even conservative evangelical leaders who might be expected to look askance at the extramarital dalliances contained in the allegations were supportive, continuing a pattern of overlooking Mr. Trump's personal conduct that dates back most prominently to their response to the Access Hollywood tape in 2016. In the coming months, former President Trump will have to balance his presidential campaign with court proceedings and possibly a trial in New York. To some Republican and Democratic leaders, including former and current elected officials, strategists, and others, the charges appeared to be flimsy, a hodgepodge of bookkeeping accusations that felt far less consequential than many had hoped. To others in both parties, the charges and attendant spectacle were troubling and had the potential to reverberate and hurt the former president politically. The failure of Mr. Trump's rivals for the Republican nomination to go on the offense underscores the centrality of the former president in the GOP. 
His opponents appear to be using the same playbook that a crowded field of White House hopefuls ran in 2016, laying back, absorbing Mr. Trump's blows, and hoping external factors would take him down. The charges will have to be answered in a court of law, extending a tawdry tale of extramarital affairs into a courtroom for a party that once considered itself the home of family values. Mr. Trump might rail against the Manhattan District Attorney who is leading the prosecution, Alvin L. Bragg, and the judge who will preside, but the court proceedings and possibly a trial will unfold in a potentially damaging manner as a Republican race for the White House runs alongside them. Who wants to be charged with any crime? Most normal Americans will never be charged with a misdemeanor their entire life. To be charged with 30 of them? I mean, it's shocking, and for somebody who you want to have as a leader in the country, it's a disqualifier for me, said former Representative Reed J. Ribble of Wisconsin, a Republican critic of Mr. Trump who has doubts about the case. Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida, who was widely expected to be Mr. Trump's biggest threat for the Republican presidential nomination, was silent on the subject on Wednesday, though he did win the endorsement of a conservative House Republican, Thomas Massey of Kentucky. Mr. Massey said in a text message that he had planned to make the endorsement without regard to the arraignment and decided not to let Alvin Bragg get in the way. Democrats expressed frustration bordering on contempt, with some arguing that the charges against Mr. Trump might not have been as sweeping as some of the other cases still pending against the former president. Some expressed skepticism that the charges unveiled would change many minds. Despite the charges, Mr. Trump's rivals now see a moment of peak power for him that they hope will dissipate. Trump just got a big old shot in the arm with people who don't like where we are and don't trust the government, said Ketan Dawson, a former chairman of the South Carolina Republican Party who this year helped start the presidential campaign of Nikki Haley, Mr. Trump's former ambassador to the United Nations.